The following podcast is recommended for mature audiences only. The following podcast is recommended for adults only. Maturity is not a requirement. Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Dear Download, a podcast where we get to share our most intimate and treasured memories of Download Festival. We'll talk about each year, the bands we saw, the bands we missed and everything else noteworthy that happened across the weekend. Also, we'll touch upon any news, other festivals and the music industry past, present and future. This week is a bit of a, a bit of a mix up. We, uh, we were supposed to, well, we were hopefully going to be talking about NXT wrestling uh, and doing a joint episode with uh, our good good friends of the pod top turnbuckle podcast but uh, one of the guys couldn't make it so uh, we were like what the fuck do we do um, <laughs> so, so uh, Simon came up with this one actually I thought it was going to be a good idea just to sort of keep in the back for when we do run out of stuff to do and we haven't got a panic that ended up being this week so this yeah. so we're doing a bit of a uh, doing a what do you call it uh, like a desert, well, it, they would call it Desert Island Discs. If it, if yeah. It, that's what everyone called it, but it's not just about music. We've got a couple of other things included. So it's basically your Desert Island survival list. If someone said, you can pick these things, but your version of them, then you have to yeah. go live on a desert island, basically. So yeah. yeah, it's just an idea. I mean, we got loads of random ideas like this. This was just the one I thought, should we do this? The Desert Island show. And you were like, yeah. And I was like, sweet. Sounds yeah. fun awesome well there he was i'm adam and there was simon hello <laughs> i just hello. spoke <laughs> it's fine uh how are you doing man yeah i'm, I'm sick again you're sick um, again <laughs> apologies to the listeners because you can probably hear i'm a little bit nasally today um i had covid two weeks ago and now i got the flu <laughs> so um well you know with a 25 year old pristine two percent body <laughs> fat body like mine um i'm surprised i could get any 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 anything but you know <laughs> somehow it's evaded um my my muscles and got through to my um my system so yes i am ill again so apologies if there's any coughs or weird noises that ad can't cut out um that's my bad cool <laughs> but yeah but yeah apart from that um i'm good man i'm good yeah, uh, yeah i was anything... looking forward to doing the wrestling one but we'll get round to that um and yeah that'll be a good one but i i was looking forward to this because this sort of episode is like it's personal so also it gives the listeners a little bit sort of insight into me and you as people and it was nice that we've got a few things from people that come back to us with theirs as well so i'm actually looking forward to this because we're we're a a show of tangents and i feel like this could take us on many (laughs) tangents so prepare yourself for a tangent fucking heavy show yeah definitely (laughs) and uh and i think well i mean it's only it, we were talking just before we started. It's pretty. It's getting pretty close to download now, as yeah, well. Man. So I think after this episode, we will be uh, probably starting a bit of a countdown to download. Yeah, definitely. Which I've got some pretty good ideas for. Sweet. Before I go off on another tangent, uh, anything new with you <laughs> in the last couple of weeks, mate? No, no, no. Nothing's been nothing. Nah. Nothing's been happening. No, that's it. Only thing I have okay. to report is the sickness. Apart from that standard procedure i just like we were just saying before like it's nine weeks to download which is it is a long time like i said before but if you break it down in weeks it sounds like wow it's so close like nine weeks so it'll be around before (laughs) before we know it so we got quite a few podcasts before then but like you said it's all about building up to it and then actually going and we actually get to go together for the first time which is or it's going to be so much fun. It is or going to be so much we fun. could really hate each other and, <laughs> and hate and hate our presence, or have a massive odd drunk argument, and then there's no more podcasts. So much could happen. So it'd be so fun to drama, see yeah. what happens. <laughs> well, yeah. So um, there, there is actually only four episodes left until download. Wow. Uh, Holy the, hell. the fourth episode will come out the Sunday before download. So I don't know whether we'd want to do another. Well, no, we will actually. Is what I said. So, um, just just a reminder to anybody what, uh, about what I said last episode. I do want your input. I want your 
voice recordings or audio recordings of what Download Festival means to you. And I want to put it in a special episode that will be released on the Wednesday morning of Download. So yeah, I just want to get that in the beginning of the episode. I, I don't know if, if people maybe skip, like, um, cut off at the end when they know there's no more of the main topic that we're talking about. They don't want to hear the outro, which is fair, you know. It's a long, po- uh, a long That's podcast. That's not fair. It is. <laughs> hey, listen, if you're not going to stay to the end, get out the podcast right now. Switch it off. I, I, I want you to go to the last note of this podcast. I don't care. I want them to listen to the silence before the next one starts. Yeah. <laughs> If, you, if you're not going to bother, get out. <laughs> Just leave now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, this episode is going to be two weeks long. Uh, <laughs> and uh, at the end of the two weeks, there will be a little... Yeah, you, you know... Oh, do you know what? Oh, fuck me. Oh, a little tangent. Already. Oh, another tangent already. Yeah, at the end of the two weeks, there's going to be... Uh, you know, like you get the... Oh, what's it called? Come back to me, please. Um, Come on, brain, work. Uh, secret tracks at the end of oh yeah 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 uh, album h- how long's the gap before the secret track yeah it'll be like a week <laughs> six days and 22 hours uh <laughs> and then you but, get something really weird uh another thing we, we were thinking about doing was uh, a papa roach special uh, yeah because they oh, have yeah, a yeah. new album out tomorrow and so i was listening to their first album and you know they've got a, a special uh, a bonus track but mm-hmm. there's no gap on spotify it came on and i was like mm. that's yeah. weird normally i just end up listening to that silence that's probably one of the best secret tracks yeah it's awesome like that is yeah. such a good song so much so that at the time people liked it so much that they started playing it live really that's how much people liked that track yeah seriously awesome um i want to say alien anthem had one did alien anthem have one they did, yes. I think that one was quite and good And System too. had one on Toxicity. Um, Mushroom Head had one on XX. Here's an interesting thing for you. Go on. Oh, was it Anal Nathrek or Agrophobic Nosebleed? They had a secret track, but it was before the first track. <laughs> what? So they had a... Hun- oh, it was Agrophobic Nosebleed, because they, 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 all their songs were really short. So I'm pretty sure it was. So they had a 100-track album. Mm-hmm. But there was only 99 tracks on the album. You had to rewind from the beginning back past zero. You Whoa, couldn't just that's you couldn't skip back. Shit right you there. had to rewind it like manually. And uh, that's fucked. And I fucking loved that idea. I wanted to. I wanted to do that. I asked um, one of my lecturers in college. You know how you would get that, and and he was really fucking intelligent. Uh, but he didn't know. He'd never heard of it before. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like programming saying different. Because I, I remember I've heard of it the other way with it at the end. Because I think it was either Mushroom Head, that XX, or Antichrist Superstar, Marilyn Manson, where it had loads of tracks, but they weren't songs. They were just silence. And you had to get to the last one for the secret track. But uh, I never heard uh, of it the other way where you have to go past. That's weird. Yeah. That's and cool. That was, like that. That was probably uh, 20. 20 or 22 23 years ago now mm. uh that would have made me 15 now maybe 19 to 20 years ago i would say something like that and i've not heard of it since no well you think of it when did the first cds come out 85 so they'd been messing with cds for quite some while so they probably thought what crazy stuff can we actually put on these cds like yeah like track wise yeah that's crazy i never heard of that before that's awesome i have to i'm gonna have to I don't know how I'm going to check it out. I don't have a CD player. <laughs> oh, and he has a good point. Oh, like <laughs> s- similar with uh, the the Papa Roach just not having the silence before the bonus track. I wonder if they've got it on Spotify because there's I mean, no way of rewinding. You know, back. like we talk about people's uh, people's um, like ugh, attention spans now. They're not going to sit there for like a minute and a half and listen to nothing to get to a secret track. You're having a laugh. No. They'll turn your single off in two seconds if it doesn't. If they don't like it, they're <laughs> yeah. not going to sit there for sixty seconds of silence to get to a, a secret track that they probably won't like. Yeah, times have changed. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm 25, so I don't know what they were doing <laughs> back in the day. But I could tell you right now, it's not I, what I like to do. I ain't waiting for no secret track. Well, it was it cold. I, I think I said a minute ago, cold on the year of the Spider album. The the mm. last track killed the music industry was like 19 minutes long their secret track was 
after about 15, 16 minutes, I think. Mm. And that there were some times where I got to it, where I'd be, I'd go off on my own little world and not realize the CD had finished. <laughs> and the secret track comes on. I was like, oh, have I really been listening to nothing yeah, for, I done that a for few that times long? As well. That was weird. You'd be like, what the f- oh, well, that's the secret track, of course. <laughs> Good stuff. Where were we before that tangent? Talking about... We were just talking about the podcast, I think, in general. Yeah. And just, uh, yeah, we yeah, cool. do weird episodes when we, ones that we <laughs> want to do don't quite happen. So, yeah. But yeah, okay, we got quite a few to do then before download, but um, uh, oh, I'm yeah, looking so forward I'll... to like the download special, the last one. That'll be cool, man. That will be cool. Yeah, so um, yeah, so like, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, good point. I was saying that we want people's audio tracks, you know, we want you on the podcast saying what download means to you, what dear download means to you, if you want to go that far. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going to put it at the beginning of that episode and hopefully people will listen to it. You know, some people might want to listen to it on the way to download. I know it's a music festival. People want to put music on really fucking loud in the car on the way, which is, uh, again, fair. Don't jump down my throat this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that'll be, that's four episodes and a bonus episode. And another thing nice. that I've not mentioned since I've mentioned it the first time was the Patreon that I said I'd started. I yes. never actually got round to finishing setting that up <laughs> it <was> about two <laughs> months ago. So uh, we will do it. Hopefully we, we might have people out there that want to want to help us out with Patreon. Uh, keep an eye out for it. I doubt I'll get it finished by the time this episode comes out, but maybe next episode. <laughs> I just wanted to yeah, give we'll a little let you update. Know. Yeah, we'll let you know when, when we want you to give us your money. Yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh we, we also have been invited on to another podcast yeah that's awesome which is pretty cool uh i don't, I don't know when that's going to happen yet i said like we're good to go throw some dates at us um but yeah that's the nevermind poly podcast he he said he's a fan so hello hello matt hope you're listening and uh, hello, hope sir. you're enjoying it still and yeah let us know when you want us on and we'll come on yeah <laughs> and chat absolute crap probably <laughs> yeah probably but <laughs> what we do if, if that's what listen, we do that's what we do if he listens to this he knows what we're like yeah i'm pretty sure <laughs> <laughs> uh but i think yeah that's all the things that i've been meaning to say for weeks now and just always forget because i don't write the notes up properly as for me nothing's really new for me over the last couple of weeks i i'm still still achy from having covid uh the I'm still achy from having the coved. The coved, yeah. Yeah, I just got a knot in my back and it's just never gone. You know, I was really achy in my shoulders and down down my back and you know, it's not so I need I think I need to go and see a physio about it because really struggling today. Like I said before though, when I had it as well, man, it like messed up my back. It was my yeah. lower back for me though. Hurt for ages and for about a week afterwards. It was terrible. I'm yeah. right now, but yeah, I think it takes a while to get over it, doesn't it, for your body to like fully recover. Yeah. Well, uh, I've said I've, I have back problems anyway, yeah. uh, but I've seen a, a, a chiropractor who um, he'll put these like electro electrode things on your back, and they just go in between each other, top and bottom, and it just sort of eases the muscle out. And Whoa. it really hurts to start with, but you can feel that it's working. That's cool, man. That sounds like futuristic. It is cool. That's Not like cheap, some though. fucking Blade Runner <laughs> shit. That is that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I I had to stop seeing him actually. They kept wanted me to wanted me to book in more more sessions, and I was like, I haven't really got the money. <laughs> and so <laughs> this would have been 2019 because I had to phone him up one day and go like, Oh, can I, can I cancel my next session? And he's like, Oh, why? And I was like, Oh, I've got a holiday coming up, and uh, I haven't really got the money. And they said, Oh, you're going over nice. <laughs> so I was like, Well, I'm going to a festival actually. So uh, I it's an expensive <laughs> festival. I, I won't have much money to spend on beer. Or, well, I didn't say this. <laughs> but yeah, I won't have much money to spend on beer or food if I pay for my back to be better. So uh, <laughs> that's fair enough. And they're probably I, thinking as well, he's going to a festival. He's going to need his back sorting again when he gets back. <laughs> yeah. We're in here. This guy's going to keep coming back. No, I haven't really had problems with it since then until oh. until now. But yeah, oh, I go. think I need to go again. <laughs> Do it, man. That, also, that sounds awesome. I want that done as well, man. It's cool. It is cool. I don't know. Was there anything else for me? Let's grab my phone really quick. Yeah, have a check, bro. Yeah, no, nothing else from me as far as I'm aware. So, do do you, shall we go to some news? Let's go to some news. Entrare the news. Play it. Okay. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you, Simon. Uh, 
<laughs> no problem. <laughs> no worries, man. This is the news. We've got news coming for you now. Just shut up. The, the news is going to come now. This is the news. Well, I've got some non-news. Well, the opposite non-news. of news. Okay, go on. Yeah. Well, do you remember when the when we were young? Festival was like the biggest news ever. Yes, I haven't really heard anything about that since. <laughs> no, it's been like good. It's two, probably two still months. not. Ha- Wait, let me let me Google it. Is it one of those things where like? Because remember, we were talking about it before on the podcast, and we said like half the bands were like on their Twitter saying, "Yeah, we never even knew we were playing this," and they just yeah. like put them on there. <laughs> Let's see if it's still actually happening. What's, what was it called again? When when we were young, we were young. Oh, wait, it doesn't come up as one of the first things on Google. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's still happening, apparently. Is it? In Las Vegas, yeah. Yeah, it's still going ahead. Hmm. Interesting. I think, yeah, you're right, it was huge, but like they said, it was really expensive, and it's probably yeah. one of those things that, like, sold out pretty much instantly. So the only people that would be talking about it now are the people that are actually going. Yeah. But everyone else was just kind of creaming over it, weren't they? Like, oh, my God, this would be great to go to, but if you didn't get a ticket... Why would you continue to talk about it? So, <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. But yeah, there's some good stuff in there. It just looks like a better version of um, Thingy Festival that we've got. Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's very yeah. rare that I like a Slam Dunk lineup. So yeah. if it was that, then I would go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. won't be that. So I'm not going. So yeah, that's fair enough. But yeah, you were right. Yeah, it did disappear all of a sudden. Like, boom, yeah. God, no one talks about it anymore. You should but remind people. Yeah. We, we should remind people again. And we'll do it today. Or let, we'll do it tomorrow or something on the Facebook. Or like, why did everyone stop talking about this? Like, yeah. What the hell happened? Like, it was massive. There was a lot of people thinking it might have been a scam. And mm. that's why I thought, oh, maybe they've stopped pushing it as much. To go Like, so people stop calling it a scam. It was like, oh, let's yeah. get out of the headlines. No, it's definitely a real thing. Yeah, uh, it moment. was in like <laughs> Forbes and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's actually real. Awesome. Yep. But I, I know I don't I don't think I've got any other news. I know you you normally go through some. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff. New new releases. Saliva have released a new single. Have which, they? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I How is that? It's it's all right actually. It reminds me of their older stuff. Yeah, the first sort of first or second album. Nice. And I, I don't think the new album. Well, no, it's a new album is June. I'm not sure if they're meant to be releasing anything this early, but because they couldn't, they cancelled two of their tours. They just went back and went. Let's just go to the studio, <laughs> record yeah. some shit, just do something. It's a good idea, actually. That is a nice way to do it if you can't actually people can't go and see you. And yeah. we all know how gutted you were about that. So yeah, <laughs> so let's, let's not talk about that. <laughs> It's a Happy touchy with subject. <laughs> uh, more news from you. What have you got? Uh, well, the first big major bit of news is um, R.O.P. Taylor Hawkins, obviously. Yeah. And the Foo Fighters. Um, obviously, that happened like a week and a bit ago now. But as we were recording this, we have, we didn't talk about it in the last podcast. No. Um, so, yeah, that's really sad because um, obviously the Foo Fighters are great. Um, he's, he Apparently, he was a really nice man as well and everyone loved him and he was a really good drummer. So... It is a massive loss to, um, you know, to rock music in general because yeah. Foo Fighters are like one of the big bands that are still sort of carrying the flag for rock music, sort of, you know, putting out there to people that don't necessarily listen to it all the time. So them yeah. getting played on the radio can do nothing but help rock in general and metal and all that sort of genre. So, yeah, really sad because um, Dave Grohl seems like such a cool guy and they seem like they were really good friends. So, yeah, it was really sad to see. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. We, we, I- I, I don't really I don't don't really listen to the Foo Fighters. I'd never even heard of him before before that. But the fact what? that he was, uh, yeah, I'd never heard of him. Are you serious? I thought everyone yeah. knew who Taylor Hawkins was yeah, like no. Uh but he's been yeah. drumming with him since like ninety nine. Really? Yeah. Really I think it might even been just before that actually. Maybe it was like ninety eight, but it's definitely yeah. been a long time, yeah. But yeah, like it 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 was it was genuinely nice to see that yeah, so much What's the right word? Compassion. So mm. so much love towards him. Like even though, oh, yeah, I was gonna say, even though he's just a drummer, is it's not like he's just a drummer. <laughs> he doesn't deserve that. No, I, I don't mean that. Um, uh, all you drummers out there, you're just drummers. Shut up. But like you would expect a big like uh, <laughs> I don't know the right word. But yeah, 
from someone who is, I would say, quite relatively unknown. Maybe he was more, obviously, more, more known than I realised. I but, think so. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It was nice to see it. Like, <laughs> but yeah, no, I totally. I get what you mean. Like, yeah. Even though, even though you, you didn't. You know, some people don't take notice of other members in bands. They just know, you know, the main guy or whatever. But yeah, he was like, I think in in the sort of the the very music musos sort of people, Taylor Hawkins was a very sort of well known drummer and sort of person. So, but I guess you'd have to be a Foo Fighters fan to actually know who yeah. he was. If you didn't like the Foo Fighters, you probably don't know who Taylor Hawkins is, which yeah. is fair enough. But um, that was perfectly summed up. Yeah, Thank they're you. such a huge band now. It's all right. It's like, dude, it's fine. Like your brain's like on the last bit of fuel, so we, we're cool. I'll cover you, man. Um, yeah, so yeah, but it was just it was just really sad. I don't going about it too much, but um, yeah, it seemed like a really nice guy, really good drummer, and it's um, it's a it's a loss to the world of rock music. Um, another thing I wanted to say to you was, did you know? Because you said that the new Dream Theater was really good, didn't you? Yeah, Dream Theater won best metal performance at the Grammys with the Alien, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. They're a good band. They're a really good band. I need, to, I still need to listen to their new stuff because you told me how good it was. Yeah, that wasn't one of my favourite songs from the album, actually. But I mean, it was okay. Really? But yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was awesome to hear that. I did one thing. I I should have looked up actually, but I I, I didn't. One thing I saw though that um, Joey Jordison was like nominated for seven things and won one of them, but there was oh, nothing. Really? That there was, he wasn't included in any of like the the videos, the tribute videos, at all. Maybe the family said that they don't want them to use the likeness. Maybe I think you have to ask permission once they've passed away. Okay. Or maybe just within a certain space of time, after yeah. a certain amount of time, maybe you could. But yeah, maybe they didn't want them to use the likeness or something. Yeah, but obviously, I have to say that's that could be misinformation. I just saw like one article that said that. I didn't do any uh-huh. research. Uh, I didn't even click on the article to see it. So I could be wrong with it now, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a possibility. No, that's cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, what else have we got? Okay, this is the other thing. So Five Finger Death Punch are releasing a new album soon, right? It's then This is their ninth album somehow. I can't believe they've been around. Yeah. It's, it's, they've been around for so long that Five Finger Death Punch are on their ninth album, which is crazy. But I was I wanted to ask you, because uh, like Five Finger Death Punch are like a lot of bands, aren't they? Like there's you either love them or you hate them yeah you know um where do you fall on the five finger death punch radar are you like mildly a hater or an extreme hater or are you mildly like them or do you love them like where (laughs) whereabouts are you i absolutely don't hate them um i would say mildly like them i absolutely loved the first two albums okay yeah just one i agree they're both they're both good and wow I know, yeah. <laughs> was the third one uh, the one with like the yellow Lamborghini on the front? Yeah. The American what one was Capitalist? Got Your Six? Was that the second one? Because Got no, Your Six is no, I'm gonna a need sick to look album. Up. Yeah, so am I. My computer's being slow as shit. I'm going to move my mic. Hold on. Okay. Uh, because, yeah, they, but I'll, I'll, it find, I'll find it in a second uh, as we're talking. But yeah, they released an album and I was like, this just sounds like their other stuff you know it's still okay it's still pretty yeah, good yeah, yeah yeah but i just got bored of listening to it and i've not listened to a single album since because people legitimately love this band yeah like apps are absolutely obsessed with this band and some people loathe them they hate <laughs> yeah. they literally despise everything about them which is strange because um I listen to a lot of that. I've uh, like, like you said, I'm probably in the mildly to quite like ca- uh, sort of camp of Five Finger Death Punch. There's loads of songs I listen to, and I'm like, that's awesome. But there's loads of songs I listen to, and I go, that's either like okay, I wouldn't listen to it again, or it's kind of not great. Yeah. So I'm not like the biggest fan ever. But you know, like up to a couple of years ago, people were talking about them possibly headlining um, Download, which I would be fine with. Like. I'd be to- I'd be fine with that. They've sold enough records. They've sold. I mean, I don't know how many. Hold on, wait. Yeah. What are they called again? <laughs> five, five finger. Five finger death so yeah, punch, that's it. Um, the third album was American Capitalist. Uh, I, that's yeah, the it. one with the, the one with the yellow car on the front. I yeah, I thought that was okay, but I think that was the the time where I was starting to get a bit bored of them. And then he did the wrong side of heaven and the right side of hell one and two. Mm. 
and I never really gave them a chance because, because like I said, oh, I was just yeah. sort of started getting bored of their stuff. And then, yeah, yeah, so I now I can see the album. So yeah, Way of the Fist, the first one was awesome. Yeah. Uh, War is the answer. That was the second one. Yeah. That was sick as well. Yeah. But my favorite album is the one from 2015, which is Got Your Six, which is so good all the way through. You need to check that out. Well, yeah, it's, I've never listened to that album. Is it's it? so good, dude. Honestly, really good. Track listings. So Got Your Six, I know that one. Jekyll and Hyde, I've heard that one. Uh, Wash it all the way, I've heard that one. Maybe I have heard this album. <laughs> you just said you've heard the first three tracks, so you've probably heard a fair. Hey. But they were, I think um, Got Your Six and Wash It All Away were like huge singles. Yeah. So, yeah, you've probably heard more off of it than you thought. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, I just um, it, I, I was I was reading some stuff on Loudwire on the website, and um, I just it came up with Five Finger Death Punch, and I'd never spoken to you about where you stand on the whole Five Finger Death Punch thing, and I think we stand in the same place, so that's good. Yeah, I yeah, the first two albums were fucking incredible. It was just uh, I, I said to you before we started recording, like there's there's nothing bad about it. It's just general rock. It's hard rock music like you can't you, you can't even really put it into a subgenre. it's just rock music <laughs> and it's yeah and yeah. it's good but yeah it just got a bit boring for me yeah that's fair enough i mean that's that's fair comments but listen to that um got your six album, yeah um, okay we'll do then you might have a little bit more of the sort of i know 2015 was ages ago now ages. but it's sort of in the new it's in the newer sort of you know yeah bit i guess that yeah, is anyway. that's interesting what you said though because I remember I remember hearing I think it was Mike Shinoda saying with with Linkin Park that they with the first two albums they basically they worked out a formula to write good songs and they could have carried on going uh, and and people like were pissed that they changed their style after their second album yeah but would they have gone the same way where people have just gotten bored by album three or four of the similar kind of you know I I would imagine they would have. And yeah, they wouldn't I, have been as yeah. legendary. No, no, definitely. Had. I mean, I think Minutes to Midnight, the 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 third album, is 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 like top two Linkin Park albums for me because it was so different. It was such a, it was such a. There was still stuff in there that sounded like Linkin Park, but like you said, it was so easy for everyone to replicate their sound. Yeah, and they, like you said, they could have just made Hybrid Theory and Meteora over and over and over again. But I mean, after album four, you would have been like, why am I listening? Because it's yeah. all the same shit. Yeah, and then when they started releasing other stuff, you're like, okay, it's different, but it's better because it's different. And it's yeah. not the same shit. That's why it's why that's why it's kind of actually weird that like bands kind of like Maiden, Metallica have changed more than Maiden have, but bands like Maiden that have essentially made the same type of songs for this long and they're still going, yeah, it is is insane. I know there's been small changes here and then. The sound is different. But really, when you listen to Iron Maiden, if you took a song from Killers and then produced it the same way that they produce their songs now, it's the same fucking stuff. Yeah. It's literally the same stuff. It's not like they... Okay, they added synths and stuff in the 80s, right? Which is fair enough, because everyone was doing it. It's like that famous interview, isn't it? Have you seen that one of Bruce Dickinson? When he's like, they're in Russia. I think they're in Russia or Poland playing a gig. And this guy comes up to him and he's like, can you teach me to play... Uh, rock music on synthesizers and he's like you can't play rock music on synthesizers <laughs> and then like three years later the whole fucking maiden was just full of synths i didn't so, know um, i've not seen that one yeah never say never but um awesome. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll link it in the description i'll send it to you it's fucking yeah, hilarious cool. awesome seem like no nah, you can't play rock music on synthesizers <laughs> and then like three years later <coughs> fucking synths all over the place so um just shows you isn't it, how much that since came in in the 80s yeah but yeah anyway sorry i'm going off on like a massive tangent but no. yeah you're right you're right you're right yeah cool uh i'm sure there's been a couple other uh new releases recently that have just gone from my head i've i need to get back into the habit of writing stuff down as it uh as it comes to me uh anything else news wise oh do you know what there is one thing that sorry one release from me that's come out that's really good um the new berry tomorrow song death ever colder with the okay. new with the new clean singer okay cool. it's very it's very good awesome that's it <laughs> what about ghost we uh we spoke about ghost the other day didn't we we did i did you listen to it i i well i was listening to their newest album as i as i well, when i messaged you it's a, it's, yeah. it's not what i was expecting 
Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, is it, 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 I, I had to check that I got the right ghost. Because um, I said to you, what did I say? Something like, I, it's not sort of droney chanty as is as, 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 like i was expecting it's more like oh you looked music. at it and you thought you thought i'm gonna get some there's gonna be some black metal going on here and yeah. all of a sudden it's like fucking 80s white snake yeah <laughs> shit like yeah it's true <laughs> i think i think i may have caught the beginning of their set at download ones when they're in one of the tents and maybe they start with like a ritual kind of chanting before mm-hmm. they start playing music i don't know maybe that's why i was expecting that but I, it was okay actually i didn't mind it, it, it was... ghost of one of those bands where when i first listened to it i thought that that's pretty good then yeah. you listen to it again and you're like i quite like this then you listen to it again you're like i really like this band and then you just start listening to everything and you're like yeah i, I love ghost now that's, that's exactly what happened so yeah yeah keep listening because yeah, um cool from 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 what i hear and i've heard more news about people talking about possible download headliners and um i've already got my prediction for yeah. next year's download okay, cool three headliners do you want to hear them quickly go for it ghost yeah bring me to the horizon okay nickelback hmm. you that's did my say prediction you, you thought you'd heard uh, he said yeah. we'd have nickelback those are my predictions but at least two of those will be right yeah probably ghost and bring me yeah. the, the nickelback one's probably a gamble but that's my prediction, so take that into consideration now, yeah? Cool, yeah. Okay. It's, it'll be on record. It's on yeah. record. Cool. We'll come back to this clip if um, if it does happen. Well, quickly before we, we finish up the news then, uh, as, uh, a, a post I put out today, there's something I thought about about a week ago, and it never really occurred to me. Uh, occurred? Is that right? Occurred. Yeah, that's the right word. Fuck me. It never really occurred to me before. But there has never been a headlining band with a female vocalist at download. Yep. Not well, not on the main stage. And yeah. and I don't know why I'd not even thought of that before. But that's crazy. Yeah, that to think is about. crazy. Yeah. Crazy to think about. That is about. crazy. That is well we talked about it before and I said like I think the the only band currently that could headline and would be a female led band would be Paramore. Because they are Yes absolutely huge yeah good point 14 million monthly listeners on spotify alone this band are absolutely huge and i think andy copping said in a um in an interview like two or three years ago he's like yeah i'd love paramore to headline download it's like yeah "Yeah." it's probably just got to get them to headline download but i could see it happening did it happening did they take a break or anything no i don't know Maybe not. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Well, it says on here their last album was 2017, so maybe they have been taking a break. That was the one that went all 80s, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe that's the reason why they haven't headlined a download is because they're taking a bit of a break. Yeah. But now, like you could tell the I was. This is really weird. Sorry. (laughs) I I was in CEX looking at the Blu-rays. I was looking for Star Trek Blu-rays. And and <laughs> and this band came on, and I was like, because they play Kerrang Radio, bloody Grebos. Um, <laughs> and I was like, Kerrang Radio is that still a thing? How does that still exist? Um, and then I, I was listening to it, and I was like, is this Paramore? And then I was like, and that was not Paramore. And I was like, that <laughs> sounded exactly like Par- like no, I mean exactly like Paramore used to sound. Yeah. So it's just funny, like now they've started to sound different. Everyone's gone, guys, guys, we can sound like old Paramore. <laughs> and, and then no one will notice. It's fine. So apparently now there's, I don't I, I can't remember who it was, but they sound just oh. like Paramore did. So yeah, sorry. Paramore awesome. related. I really want to know who that was now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'll have to go and try and do some research. But yeah, I mean, 14 million monthly listeners. Why wouldn't you want to sound like them? So yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I should have said earlier, you just reminded me of, we uh, have started watching The Expanse. This should have been in my, what was going on yes. my last two weeks thing. What a show! Um, well, it's got a good reputation. Mm-hmm. If it didn't have that, we would have switched off before the end of episode three. It's slow. Are you serious? Yeah, seriously. That Nothing happens in the first three episodes. Yeah, it's got a build, man. 
Uh, yeah, that's Hold true. Hold your horses, bro. Yeah. Give it some time, man. I'll, t- I'll tell you right now, right? By the end of season one, you will be rolling around on the floor for season two, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slow burn, but once it starts to get up speed, you will be like, this is incredible. And I'm not just saying that. It is genuinely one of the best recent sci-fi series, like, yeah. hands down. Yeah. Really we, fucking good. I, I've heard that so many times. That's why I, I, I at least have stuck with it. Um, but yeah, like, I was looking at IMDb thinking, like, how is this, how did this get past season one? Um, <laughs> but see, season one has got a lot of, like, six, m- mostly seven point something episodes. After that, it's nothing less than eight point stuff. And it's got, like, 9.3s, yeah, yeah. 9.2s. Yeah, you need to... It it takes a while to sort of set up the characters and set up the sort of world and yeah. build all around it and that and then once you once it's once it's done that and he goes right you understand where you are now and who these people are we yeah. can tell some some fun stories involving these characters and you actually genuinely are like you know like when someone is going to get killed or someone does or whatever you're genuinely like holy shit did that just happen yeah so <laughs> honestly stick with it we you, will yeah you we won't will. regret it you won't regret it honestly yeah but I, I feel like um I I said this to Kelly. Uh, I know you you said you never watched Game of Thrones, but that that was very yeah. political, and it had all of the the talking in the background, like the 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 planning of everything, and everyone loved it. So that sort of set a new precedent of of like you can have yeah. the boring tactical talks, like talking political stuff, yeah. I guess. Um, and it seems like the Expanse is like that. There's there's well, one other as, thing uh, from. From someone outside of Game of Thrones, from all the clips that I've seen, oh, oh, the only clips I've seen is tits, yeah. dragons, <laughs> and then just people standing around talking. Yeah. And I'm guessing that's essentially what it is, <laughs> but people still love it. So I guess <laughs> yeah. you can get away with it. It, it was like it was so, like some episodes, not much happened. It was just chatting and the background story, but it was amazing. Mm. And like I said, it, it sort of showed people that they can have mostly just like the the talking political stuff and it's good yeah. it does people do care yeah it it's nice action I like that, all the time. You know. oh well that, don't, don't don't get me started I've, I've i've literally spent the entire week just putting up posts about how much i hate new star trek <laughs> and how annoyingly fast paced and explosions and not people standing around talking, which is what Star <laughs> Trek is supposed to be. People having intelligent conversations about things from now related to things in the future, but they don't do that anymore. They just go, oh, have we been talking for two minutes? Something better explode. <laughs> or people will switch off. Let's not get started. I'm, I'm going to really, get really heavy now. In this. All right. <laughs> oh, don't. It hurts laugh but there is the cough <laughs> sorry oh, dude something I can't, better I, I, won't go on a, I won't go on a whole Star Trek rant we'll be here for the whole fucking episode well, I think Kelly's been watching Star Trek because I've been, I've been working on the uh, that um, that poster it, it, it took me days like literally probably about five six hours to make that one poster it looks it's cool it. but it's like yeah so she's been watching watching that and uh Nice. I think she's enjoying it. <laughs> I'm going to tell her. Fair enough. When I go down, I'm going to tell her what you said. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the end of the tangent section and a little bit of news. Shall we invite Ronnie in to take us into the main topic? Ah, I'm opening a window. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get, <laughs> let's, do- <laughs> let's get let's get Ronnie in. Ronnie, get him in. Wheel him in. Thank you, Ronnie. So like we said earlier, this is going to be a bit of a Desert Island discs and other stuff we have in our pockets. No, I was trying to do a bit of a a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, pieces of (laughs) random stuff uh, nod, but it didn't really work. Yeah, um, I don't know. Do you, do, you, do you want to tell people how you came up with this idea or or what? Well, I was just thinking, yeah, I was like, I don't know. Well, I, I was just sitting and I was like, oh, people were doing that Desert Island Discs thing where everyone, was, everyone always says, because we were always talking about like lists and top albums and stuff. And I thought to myself, oh, it'd be interesting if we'd done something like that. But when I was doing it, I was like, 
I don't just want to do like, you know, albums or whatever. I was like, what else would you take? Like, what else do you like? And I was like, well, you know, food, people always talking about how much they love shoes and stuff. And I was like, I'll come up with these and then we can just do a quick whiz through. And I think it would be a good way for people to get to sort of know us a little bit better. And I think it'd be cool because people like to do lists. Yeah, and uh, yeah. people, you know, enjoy actually just going. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, what are my free albums? I would take. What is this? It's interesting because it made me think about it. So yeah, I thought it would be. I thought it would be cool. So yeah, I'm excited to see what yours are, and then what awesome. mine are. Be awesome. Okay, we well. just do. Uh, which we do. Should we do um, question and answer. I do one. You do one. I do one. You do one. Yeah, do it like that. Let's okay. start. Let's start from the bottom. Let's do the albums last. Oh, we're gonna build up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the first uh, the first section I thought was, if you were on a desert island and you could only bring one drink with you, doesn't have to be alcoholic. <laughs> well, my doesn't brain to didn't think non-alcoholic at all. It didn't even <laughs> go there. Well, well, no, because I just thought, I put it on social media and I thought, not everyone drinks alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> so if someone would say something else. So I wanted to say, it doesn't have to be you know, booze related. Yeah. Um, but yeah, come on, let's um let's hear yours then, dude. If you uh So yeah, I, I showed this list to Kelly and she got to drink and was like, oh tea. I was like, oh, non alcoholic drinks are an option. i that never <laughs> even crossed my mind. In fact, I shouldn't have said start from the bottom because that's the only one I haven't got something written down for. <laughs> um, but it would be it would be it would be some kind of ale, I think. I do like I do quite like ale. Uh, probably Trooper, maybe Trooper. I do like Trooper. Or mm. let's go Trooper. It's good actually. Yeah, uh, Trooper is actually really nice. Yeah. Well, I for mine, I've got an alcoholic kind of normal because I was like, it depends what mood I'm in. But if it was alcoholic, it would be red wine. Yeah. Probably, um, uh, Casuela del Diablo Sauvignon. Probably, I would have thought something like that. Awesome. Um. Or it would be tea. Or tea. Yeah. Like, if it was non-alcoholic, I don't think I could survive without a cup of tea. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's so British, but I don't care. I love tea. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, mine would be red wine or tea, dependent on. Uh, this one I thought was interesting because I was like, what's can he going to come up with it? Can I Go do on. my non-alcoholic one? Then? Go on. Yeah. Uh, I, I do really like coffee. Like, I, I can't survive without coffee here, but... I think if I had to choose between coffee and water, I would probably have to go water. Yeah, that, that's true. That is not, I mean, not not saying I would die without water, but I do like drinking water these days. It's like, mm. So, yeah, I'd, I'd go water as a non-alcoholic drink. Okay, Although I did enough. hear a long time ago that there's enough alcohol in water to get you drunk, but you need to drink about three reservoirs. <laughs> so you couldn't physically do it. <laughs> yeah you would die people have died from drinking too much water so that genuinely died from it so that just shows you you don't want to drink thirty thousand gallons of water <laughs> whatever the fuck it is uh you, <laughs> you will me, die you asked me that one didn't you so i ask you this one yeah i asked one? you that one go on then you ask uh, me the next one bro. cool well the next one up is what band t-shirt would you have to take with you could you not survive without take only what you need to survive <laughs> <laughs> this one was so hard because there's so many band t-shirts that i love but i was thinking let's go with a classic one and there's two t-shirts that i have bought repeatedly because of wearing out or you know they they shrink in the wash or whatever that i've wore, that i've worn repeatedly since i don't know 2002 which is huh. my misfit skull t-shirt yeah and my motorhead t-shirt they're the two t-shirts that i've worn rebought 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 constantly i have to go with the misfits white skull t-shirt yeah that is for me the most classic awesome i will always wear that t-shirt to some degree nice so yeah i'd be in i'd be in that what about you dude well this this i this has never actually come up before and i'm quite surprised but i'm gonna go and get it for you um this is a another shirt that i've worn repeatedly since about 2002 Nice. But I've nice. never bought a replacement. Oh, original. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to go get it. Yes. I'm excited. And here's Simon's commentary. He's walking out of the room. I can't see him any longer. Um, I can see something in the background, but I'm not sure what it is. He's got a guitar on the wall. That's nice. Um, there looks to be some sort of aircon device or something. He's coming back. 
Oh my god! He is showing me, ladies and gentlemen, I should describe it for you, an Iron Maiden Fear of the Dark. Oh my god, an Iron Maiden Fear of the Dark button-up shirt with Iron Maiden buttons. This thing is rad. This is rad and something that someone would definitely wear in, like, some crazy 90s TV show. This is a very awesome shirt that I've just been shown. <laughs> well, I've got five of them. Uh, I've been... Not not the same. Um, I've been looking, actually, recently of getting the rest, but they're quite expensive. Did, did I say? Yeah, there's, there's 11 all together, uh, and I've got five of them. Uh, nice. I, I bought them all when I was about 15, uh, for twenty five pounds each, but oh they're they're, they're like seventy five to hundred now. You, yeah, they can be worth a um, lot more than that. Yeah. And what ones have you got? What other what other albums? Or uh, I've got that one. I've got Number of the Beast. I've got the Best of the Beast. I've got the Live After Death and the Trooper. Which the Trooper has only been worn about ten times because it looks like sick. <laughs> um, so that's a really good condition. It looks horrible. Um, and and actually, only about a week ago, I was thinking about uh, trying to complete the collection because I'm earning a bit more money now. I can afford to buy the rest of them, even even though they are expensive. Mm. You know, complete the collection. But yeah, like they they look they look the same as they were new. Some of them have got some small holes in that I need to get re- repaired. But um, you know, I've been wearing no, them. That's awesome. Every, every summer, like most. That Fear of the Dark one's probably come to pretty much every download with me. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's my dude. favorite Is it one. coming this year? Yes. Yeah, oh, awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. I normally take I two wait. with That's me. Sick. I don't want to take all of them. Take two of them. That one. Yeah, take that and take the... the uh, okay, I was going to say Live After Death. That's, that's the, the li- cover. Uh, I'll probably take that one as well. The Best of the Beast one, the it, I got it in extra large, I think, and it's just massive on me now. I, it uh, used to be cool to wear it when it was like massive, like sleeves. Down, like, really baggy, here, yeah. Proper baggy I band. Don't want to wear it anymore like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there. That the my fear of the dark Iron Maiden is a dragonfly clothing one. If uh, people, are well, interested. we will supply a picture because there is no fucking way we are not putting a picture of that shirt on our Facebook because <laughs> it's so sick. So we'll get some shots for you guys so you can go on the Facebook now when you listen to this and it's probably already on there. You should definitely. Check out that shirt because it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, right, I'll ask you the next one. Cool. One pair of shoes that you could take to you on a desert <laughs> desert island. This this doesn't what pair of shoes have you chosen? This doesn't bode well for me when I've just said I've worn the same shirt for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that there's ob- there's there's obviously two pairs of shoes that I would wear. This uh, this what we're doing. You said it so get people can get to know us a bit more. So. Um, I mean, first, my first thought would be any kind of Royal Mail shoes because they last forever. I was trying to do quick maths. Let's do it now. Let's say I walk, walk about 12 miles a day, five days a week, 60 miles mm-hmm. a week. They, they will last at least six months. So let's do six months worth. worth. 20, <clears throat> 10 weeks is 600 miles. Uh, double that, 1,200 miles plus another two weeks. Is that right? No, another six weeks. Um, half that is three hundred six. Six and three is that. Yeah, you can probably get a good fifteen hundred miles out of Royal Mail shoes. Nice. Uh, we, what kind of shoe is it? Um, the oh, I don't know what they've got. They, they've got their own types of shoes, but they they've got some nice Magnum boots. I've never mm. really heard of Magnum before, but they were nice. So you'd, I'd probably go for the boots so with the ankle support as well. But I mean, I can't say that on on here. Be, <laughs> as my as my shoe I'll, I'll i'll leave that in obviously that that's yeah, my sensible option but if if it's for people to get to know us i'm currently on my fourth pair of uh what are they called globe sabers globe saber what the f- what the hell is that have a look i'm gonna have to google that shit man that's some they're massive that's a deep cut yeah. that's a deep cut bro globe saber globe saber shoes let me have a look oh okay proper Old school skate shoe vibes. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like that. <laughs> They're huge. I like that. They um. There's no. Oh that... my god, Vicky would love these. Yeah. She. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her away from you. She's got a thing <laughs> for men in big skater shoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> they look sick, bro. Yeah, I mean they're so comfortable. They're padded. 
like I said, so I'm on my fourth pair now. Um, they're they're not cheap, but they they they're worth it. I think there's no- yeah, they're not cheap, are they? Holy shit! There was another pair. Was it Osiris D threes, something like that, or D two thousand and three? Check out Osiris. Oh, I know Osiris. D3. Yeah, um, Osiris. It was a famous Osiris. Yeah, D three got D three. Yeah, there. and they were they look yeah. massive. I've never had any of them, but I've seen so many pictures of or so many comments from people saying, "Oh my god, I, I've had them when I was like fifteen. I've just bought another pair. I haven't, I haven't had a pair of them." But oh my god, there's a picture of them similar. on someone's feet, and they look absolutely <laughs> giant. <laughs> Holy hell, that is insane. They look pretty cool though. I like it. Yeah, that's very. That's like very 1999. <laughs> yeah. Like frother. That is holy shit. They look cool though, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're still making them now. Yeah. Shit. Cool. They're not cheap though. 100 pounds. Yeah. Nice. But what what about you? Uh what, what shoes would you have to go for? I am going for my plain black Dr. Martens up to the ankle. Nice. Not the not the huge ones, the ankle ones. Yeah. Well, you know, past the angle, the sort of normal size DMs. Yeah, I love them. They're so comfortable. They go with anything. You look like a bad man and you could probably shoot a bullet at them and it would probably bounce <laughs> off, I'm pretty sure. You look like a bad right. man. You, if you wear a three-piece suit and you wear Dr. Martins, you're pretty much like Robocop. Nice. All you got to do is get a helmet <laughs> and you could take some serious like bullets that just bounce off you, man. So yeah, definitely DM for me. That's no, that's a, that's a, not even, a, that's a no issue, that one. It's just... Straight through DMs, I've no never, problem. Never own a pair of them. Well, I didn't own a pair for a long time when they are perfectly my style. Like, I don't know how I didn't wear DMs when I was younger, probably just because they were so expensive and I couldn't afford them. Yeah. Um, but they are so me, man. That style. Tight black jeans, tuck them into the boots. Yeah. So the boots come all the way up. Bang a band t shirt on. You're looking like a chain. Chain. <laughs> that's just that's, that's all me, bro. So awesome. But yeah, no DMs. You got to get. They're so comfy. Like probably what you get from the shoes that you wear at work. Once you like wear them in, yeah, it, it literally just feels like the most comfortable shoe ever. You can walk, do long walks in them. You can walk up the road. You can fuck around in them. It doesn't matter. Like they're just the ones. Awesome. So yeah, when I, I recommend one day when I grow up, get a, get a nice a, pair. Of, when you grow up, get a nice <laughs> pair of DMs out of for your um, for your twenty seventh birthday or twenty eighth birthday. <laughs> you should get yourself a pair of DMs. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Uh, right, am I, I'm asking you now. Am I? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay, one. This will be interesting because I don't know this about you about meals and stuff. We talked a little bit about food, but not a lot. So I'll be interested. Yeah, to find out what your one meal is. What is it, bro? I, it's got it's got to be pizza. Pizza, yeah. Nice. Uh, I mean, I that I, was my other one. I like curry more than pizza, but if I had to eat it every single day, yeah, I, yeah, I got to be pizza. Pizzas. What kind of pizza? What's your favorite topping? Uh, pepperoni, mushroom, and sweet corn. That uh, sounds good with, to me. With Domino's, you go for a chicken feast, and you get rid of the chicken and add pepperoni on. So you're not making your own. Uh, <laughs> a bit Ooh, of a tip there for you. That sounds good. Yeah, man. Hells yeah. <laughs> Hells yeah. Well, actually, that's really weird. I was speaking to Vicky about, we were watching um, Kitchen Nightmares yesterday on YouTube. And um, Gordon Ramsay goes to this like really terrible pizza place. And Vicky's like, I'm, I'm really hungry for pizza. I was like, why are you hungry for pizza after watching this? The pizza's horrible. <laughs> but then we were talking about pizza and I was saying that um, people are saying that Pizza Hut is like better than Domino's now. Oh, really? And I haven't and I haven't eaten Pizza Hut in I don't know ten years at least. Yeah. But I've heard through the grapevine um, that yeah that that Pizza Hut's really good again now. So I think next time we get pizza, we're not going to get Domino's. We're yeah. going to try Pizza Hut awesome. and actually see we can't, if it's any good. Yeah, we can't get Pizza Hut delivered. We'd have to go over to Taunton oh. to get it. But we have. You can get it. Domino's though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I used to yeah, work. Domino's, Domino's is good. I think I've told you before. Oh. But I, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I could make the 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 base look like it does on the on the menu. If you get it and it doesn't look like it's on the menu, you're shit. Um, <laughs> like seriously, like a tiny crust around the outside, mm. uh, not this big fat bubbly thing that you get. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah. Dominoes were at download, so we'll have to talk about that a bit more when we get to the year. Of that course, they were there. Of course, the Domino's years. Yeah, 
Fucking a lot of money for a pizza, though, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I managed... I do know people that got it, though, and they said it was incredible, so... Yeah, I managed to blag 50% staff discount, but that was after about three <laughs> days of bugging him for it, asking if I can go in and make my own, and he, I was drunk, and he was like, no, you're not coming in. You're not coming in. I'll give you a staff discount if you fuck off, sort of thing. <laughs> Take your stuff, discount, and piss off. <laughs> Don't have to deal with you anymore, you weirdo. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I love it. Pizza, good man. Okay, that well, was very good. pizza, mine was a toss-up because I was like, right, I love I love pizza. Curry is one of my favourites because I just, I've always loved curry. Yeah. But like you said, I don't, th- I'm not sure I could eat it all the time. Yeah. But there's one meal that I could eat one forever. And it's been my favourite meal since I was a kid, which is spaghetti bolognese. Ah, nice. That's a that's a classic for me. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, three favourites would be either be pizza, spag bowl, or um, I'm not too I'm not too fond of Chinese. No, no. Like I like a Chinese, but I would choose pizza or curry, uh, you know, takeout over a Chinese. Yeah. Every single day of the week, like easily. Yeah, Chinese is um, whenever I eat it afterwards, I go. Mm. <laughs> it was all right yeah and i've had you know from good places that other people absolutely love but i'm just always like yeah i, I didn't enjoy that as much as i thought i was going to yeah but after i've had a p- good pizza or a good curry i sit there and i'm like oh that was amazing <laughs> like you know afterwards when you're like yes that was so good yeah i remember back yeah, in like anyway episode one or two i said to you i was going to send you my recipe or the recipe that i found online for chicken oh, for yeah. chicken pathia uh, and I never yeah. did, but yeah, I made it this week actually for the first time in ages, and it tastes like if you get it from a restaurant. So I'll send nice. that to you. It's so good. Yeah, do it, man. I love cooking shit like that. Yeah, cool. Well, this is uh, this will be an interesting one actually as well. Two mm-hmm. books. What two books could you not live without on a desert island? They would be. Well, I was thinking, you know what? I want two sort of different styles. So if I get bored of one, I can do the other. So. I thought, first of all, it would be Cosmos by Carl Sagan. So it's a book on astronomy, basically. So yeah. actual facts and ah. his sort of writing about the universe. Because I love those kinds of books anyway. And I love him. So I thought, you know, how else would I be able to... If it wasn't by that, it would have been sunk by, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson or Brian Cox or something like that. Yeah. So any of those, any sort, anything based on astronomy. But Cosmos by Carl Sagan's incredible. And I thought, if you're in a desert island, you're going to see all these beautiful stars. Yeah. So it'd be really cool to read something about them while you were um while you were looking at them. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah, that's my, I like do, that. sh- Shall I do shall I do my second one or shall yeah, I just, just do both wait of them. for you? Okay, and the other one, obviously I just want a story to read. And one of the books I only read it in twenty sixteen, but I was amazed that I hadn't read it before and how much I loved it, which is uh, Man in the High Castle. I think Kelly read that. Yeah, it's or maybe phenomenal. She, she was it a TV sheet series as well? Yeah, they made it into a series. Yeah. I still haven't watched it. I'm not sure if she read the book as well. I, I know she watched it, but she does read a lot of stuff like that too. Yeah, I mean, Philip K. Dick is a god in my eyes. Like, the amount of... Well, I see the thing is, I have I like so many movies based on his books. Yeah. And, you know, like, uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, Blade Runner, obviously. we we'll Do It For You Wholesale, which is Total Recall. Okay. Minority Report. There's, you know, endless great sci-fi stories and man in the high castle was just one of his best and i i was exhilarated it was only the only books that i've read because i i do like to read but in the last few years i i said to vicky today i was like i've barely read a book since we've been together i don't know what you've done to me <laughs> so i went out today and i bought oh, i bought a new book yeah. and i was like right because i got a massive book collection but i thought i'm going to buy something new and then read that and then i'm going to go through and read all my old books again awesome so um, I just bought like a short story sci-fi book from the secondhand shop for like two quid. I was like, yes, nice. I'll take that. But yeah. Cool. Anyway. Yeah. Good book. What about yours, sir? Um, so uh, I think I've said on here before, I uh, pretty much the only books I've ever read is Terry Pratchett books. Um, I have read a few other ones. Uh, I think Terry Pratchett has got 41 uh, Discworld novels and I've read about half of them. Well, I, 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 similar to you, I, I haven't read in over 10 years, maybe 15. Although, although wow. I did read the Maze Runner books when the first film came out because mm. I just loved the film, so I had to read the books. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and I remember listening to Raunchy a lot while, while, um, yes. while, while reading. I don't know why. 
just uh, talk. They should do a book just based on raunchy. Really, they, they should. <laughs> Every song title, make it into a book, fantasy book. There Definitely. You go. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I think my, I'd have to choose my favourite uh, Terry Pratchett book, and like it's it's either Night Watch or Thud. Uh, they're both based on the the the, the City Watch, Commander Sam Vimes, and I'd probably go for Night Watch. It's a really good book. It's got time okay, travel in awesome. it as well. Um, nice. And the other one, because you said it's going to be, this is to for people to get to know us a little bit more. I would choose David Blaine's book. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. I read it a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Because it 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 got me out of a bit of a hole. Uh, a long time ago. I think I was like 16 I, I've i never really suffered with anything too bad mental health wise but um, yeah I was in a bit of a hole and, and I read it and, and but it, it was amazing like the, the you know the stunts that he did there was always a reason behind it it wasn't just trying to get people to go like wow you're amazing you can spend 25 days in a box I think that was because he he had done a lot of reading himself and people used to do that for like religious reasons they were just sit and starve themselves or whatever and mm, yeah. were, and so he he explained a lot of the reasoning behind a lot of the things he was doing and just trying to push his body and not just do it for the for the likes even though that was before the likes at the time but yeah, yeah. The, the likes equivalent yeah he's um he's a, a fascinating guy yeah I think, a really fascinating guy because I've, I've done i've seen interviews with him like not too long ago and you 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 just yeah he's just so like I don't know, he's just such an interesting person when you hear him talk. It's just like, I can't get an angle on this guy. Like, I don't know. When people remember before, they're like, no, nah, he he's an alien. He's an a- <laughs> Only aliens could do this weird stuff that he does and like all that sort of stuff. It's so funny, isn't it? Yeah. What people used to think. But that's awesome. That's good, man. I like that. It's very different. Yeah. I was, like it. I've still very got cool. the book. I've only read it, only ever read it the once. But um, yeah, it was, was a good book. Very, very insightful. Very. Very good. <laughs> That's the only word I can think very, of. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Right. Okay. Shall we move on to the next one? Let, yeah. Uh, who's asking? Am I asking you? You are asking me. I'm asking you. But, okay. Here we go. Another revealing one. I don't know. I was to, say, you're big on films. Do you want me to ask you this one as well? You, right. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Two movies. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. One. I'm excited. One is going to be obvious. One has got to be Monty Python's, well, Monty Python's Holy Grail. That's fair. That's a fair pick. Yeah, yeah. Best film ever awesome. made, pretty much. I, Amazing. Even you even sat across from a friend, drunk one night. We, we were in an internet cafe, and we were just reading the script as it is in the film to each other, <laughs> like going back and forth. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> that's amazing, dude. Uh, and my other film, I never considered it as my favorite film, but whenever people would ask me what's your favorite film, it was always the first one that came into my head. Uh, for a long, long time, and um, I don't really know why. It was, okay. I knew it was a fantastic film. Like I said, I never considered it my favourite film. great film. But it was always great the film. first one that came to my mind. So I guess it was probably my favourite film. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that, that kick-started my obsession with Vin Diesel. Uh, I was I had a bit of a man crush on him for <laughs> a little while. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's fine, man. Yeah, no, Pitch Black's a great film, dude. Me yeah. and Vicky watched it. Not too long ago. Oh, the original and, Pitch um, Black as well, actually. Yeah, the yeah, not the third one. Yeah, really good. It was it was what? the third one that was kind of a sequel, kind of a reboot. Do you mean the one called Riddick? Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, okay. Wasn't called Pitch Black. That's yeah. a good point. Yes, okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, no, they're good. They're good. Yeah, I like, I like all the Riddick films. Yeah. I like Chronicles. I like Riddick, and I like Pitch Black. I think they're all awesome. Yeah, but the thing with Riddick, good character. I thought, there were too many callbacks to the first film. They was trying to do too many sort of references to try mm. and get you to go, oh, I like the first film, and that's a reference to it. That means I would like this one. There was just too uh, many I of them. You. Like like, like where he, um, he just sat on top of like the caravan sort of thing in the background, and like, they're searching for him, and he's just there drinking. And they had exactly the same scene in Riddick, and it was like, yeah. that's too much. Yeah, I know I don't like when films do that. Films tend to do that a lot now because... Um, they realised that people were sort of pining for how good movies were. Yeah. So they do that now. Is um, we call it in the like movie thing. Do you remember this? Yeah. So like, you, there'll be a movie like all these remakes that they do now, and they're like, oh, do you remember this? Yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> do you remember that? We won't do anything new. I don't want to do that. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Do you remember this? Do you remember, remember that? And then that's what I mean. And then you go, yeah, I remember. 
we've done that. Can yeah. you move on? <laughs> awesome. And they're just shoving all this old shit in your face. Like, there you go. Go on. You like it, don't you? <laughs> old shit. So I get that, dude. I get that totally. Yeah, yeah, that does annoy me. That does annoy me, yeah. Yeah. It's... I don't remember it happening too much in that film, but I'm going to watch it again Watch now. it again. There is a lot. Okay. In there. Okay. But may- cool. maybe because it out. I watched Pitch Black probably, you know, 20, 30 times, so I knew it after, like, it was fresh in my mind anyway. I, I knew it. Yeah, and I'll watch it. I'll be good. I'll, I'm going to count the Pitch Black references in it, which probably will be a lot now you've said that. Yeah. Um, what about you, man? What me? What am I doing? I, movies. Uh, films. Oh, movies. Well, I mean, like, this, this, could have been, this could have been anything. So I just chose two films that I have been watching a lot of the original Star Trek movies recently. Um, and I have a poster that you can't see over there of Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, which is one of the best science films, sing- science fiction films ever made and one of the best films ever made in my eyes. Was so, that- yeah, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan would come with me. That, that was Benedict Cumberbatch, wasn't it? No? No, that's Star Trek Into Darkness, which was a soft reboot. Is that his, is, of- it, is he Khan? Though? Same character. Yes, yeah. okay, right. Hey, Same character. I know my Star it's- Trek. Dude, you, knew, you know, <laughs> man, you know it. No, I yeah, I'm like not, I like Into Darkness. It's 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 good. I like the new the new Star Trek films. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a it's not a patch on right. Wrath of Khan, um, which is the one. So yeah, definitely would take that. And the other one, I was thinking, you know how before I was talking about how being depressed sometimes feels nice. Yeah. And then when you come out of it, so my second favorite film of all time, I would take not my first one because that's too depressing, uh, which is Vanilla Sky. But my second favourite film of all time, which is Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Yeah. Of the Spotless Mind, rather. Um, yeah. That would be a film that I would take. Because it is severely depressing, because it's all about Jim Carrey erasing his ex-girlfriend from his memory, and he's going through his memory as the memories are being erased. You can't really get much more depressing than that. But it's a fucking amazing film, so yeah, yeah I would take that. I think I think I watched that with Kelly. I, I had seen it before. I couldn't really, really remember what it was about. So we watched it together and I still didn't really work it out. <laughs> so. It is a real mind. Like all of my top films are like films with like mind bent. I like stuff that like sort of warps your mind and stuff. Yeah. And I love cinematography. And that film has both. Of those, it has a, a storyline, which is like, what the hell is happening? And then visually you can see stuff sort of being erased as he's walking through scenes. Yeah. And the more you watch it, you notice little things disappearing and turning white and sort of as they're erasing through his memory. So yeah. you, when once you watch it again and again, you spot more and more. I still, every time I watch it, I see something that I never saw before. So it's got a lot of rewatch value. So Yeah, I get that because um, I think I was like 16. Uh, I got the Scooby-Doo film for Christmas and I watched it every day for 30 days. I, up until the end of January, I watched it every single day because <laughs> I was cool. And, and I kept seeing new things like, oh, that character in red there, they walk past the camera like five times in this scene. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I love those, those Scooby-Doo movies, the first good. two. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. I don't know. Was there a third one? Or was it just two? It was just two, I think. Is it just two? Maybe, okay, I, I love the them both. one might have yeah, gone great. to be more of like, going back to animation or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, no, I loved, um, I loved those as well. I'm yeah. with you. <laughs> Good. All right. right. Uh, am I asking you? Now on to the money maker. I don't know if that, well, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to music. music. All right, we should do one each music. this time instead, instead of going three. Because yeah, we, we, you said okay. three albums, didn't you? Okay. Um, who did I, did I ask you or did you, you ask me? You asked me. So I'm asking you, what would be your first album that you could not have Okay, the out? first album I would take with me would be White Snake 1987, <laughs> because it's incredible. Yeah, I don't know it. <laughs> Lay, come on, man. On a desert <laughs> island, laying there beautiful, listen to, is this love that I'm feeling? And you're like, yes, I'm, I'm with you, Dave. <laughs> I'm with you all the way, mate. Or you could, you know, rock out to Still of the Night. There's just there's so many good tracks, man. Give me all your look nah. You can't. It's just it's an album, start to finish. Yeah. It's, it's a classic album. You could rock out to it. It's an album you could rock out to and get the feels to, you know, get emotional. Get yeah. 80s emotional. Awesome. So um, it has all of the emotions. So that would be my number one. What about yours? My number one would be. Uh, I initially I went, oh, it's got to be Brave New World, but then I thought. Rock and Rio has got a lot of Brave New World songs on it, but a lot of yes. the other stuff too. So, yeah, it'll be Iron Maiden, Rock and Rio. 
Nice. That's a great. That's a, what I love. That I had that live show on DVD. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. What a show that is. What a performance. Dirty man. Awesome. Love it. But yeah, you could rock out to it as well, and you could sing to it. Yeah. You can. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. And why didn't I think of a live album? <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, your second one. Um, my second one is Faith No More, Angel Dust. So what I've tried to do is, like, Faith No More, Angel Dust, musically and vocally is literally one of my biggest influences and it's such a weird album as well so obviously white snake is like a rock album then i've got faith in what angel dust which is like a weird new metally experimental album okay. and then i've gone for something else for my last one so i wanted to kind of mix it up so i sort of hit all the notes basically i've gone with rock alternative i'm holding my bracket hands up albums yeah i could have picked any dire straits album any Queen album, any Genesis album, because they're like my favourite bands of all time. But I thought as we're doing a download related podcast, yeah, I yeah. think I would do alternative albums. Yeah. So um yeah, Faith No More Angel Dust, easily one of the best sort of alternative albums ever made in my eyes. So yes, that would be my number two. Cool. What about you, dude? Um yeah, well I've not heard that album, so I can't really comment too much. I'd imagine your third album will be the same. So my number two, uh this was a bit of a hard one. So I, I knew my number three. I'm going to stick with that. Stick that one with number three, uh, which is there's a reason for that. But I really wanted an upbeat album, something that would just keep me going. And um, my first thought was Blow Sight, which uh, which is incredible. They, you know, they commented on our Instagram this morning, which is awesome. <laughs> and I was like, I'm, I'm, "Am I talking about you tonight? I'm going to tag you in that, and you come and listen." Um, <laughs> but they they've had three albums, and they're. The, the songs that I really, really like are split across the three. There wasn't one single mm-hmm. album that had all their best stuff. So, and and there was two songs that I thought were theirs that aren't there, there by a band called Self Deception. <laughs> uh, so, and they're very similar. They're, they're quite similar bands. It's good stuff. But yeah, so it was Self Deception and it was a self titled album, Self Deception, which was in the middle. It wasn't their first album. And <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was in twenty. Yes, uh, bands do that sometimes. Eighteen, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, bands do that because like the last Bullet for My Valentine album was called Bullet for My Valentine. <laughs> so you've already done like six or seven albums, and you finally got around to one that's just called Bullet for My Valentine. <laughs> yeah. Normally, bands do that first, but yeah, yeah. So it does happen, but yeah, that's, I never heard that, so I'll give that a listen. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's just every song is really upbeat. Uh, listen to Blow Sight as well. I w- I wish you six 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 is whenever it comes on, I just, I think I said before, I just have to play guitar on whatever I'm holding. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, if I'm driving, I'm just like tapping the steering wheel. I just, it just gets me going. I have to. Nice. Yeah, so it's really good. Nice, man. What about check that your out. third one? Uh, my third one is, of course, the masterpiece that is Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory. Yeah, uh, that was one of Which Kelly's is the well. album that, like, made me want to play music and not just listen to it yeah the, you know made me actually think do you know what um, i could probably sing a little bit and this, this is the album that done it for me and yeah you know every it's just it's, it's start to finish just an absolute banger and uh i don't think i would ever get bored of these songs i mean i've been listening to them for like how many years i could still stick on this album at any point of any day and be like it's so good yeah yeah absolutely so yeah mine's yeah hybrid theory uh what about yours dude uh, my third one is, um, do, you, do you know, do you ever get it where, where you just want to listen to something and be sad for a little while? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I figured out if I'm on a desert island, I would probably have time to be sad. So I would pick yes. a, a sadder album. <laughs> uh, nice. So it would, um, for this one, it would be uh, Cold, A Different Kind of Pain. Nice. Which is, um, yeah, it's a, it's a much slower album than their other stuff. Um, and... And I first got into Cold when it was like, again, I was like 15, 16. It was back before Facebook, before MySpace even. And the only way I could find out stuff about them was through their own website. And so so I went on to that and there was just so many people messaging them, messaging, messaging them saying like, your music saved my life. You know, your, your, your music is so powerful. Your lyrics are so powerful. You know, you saved my life. And it was so many people that said that. And that made me sort of appreciate them a lot more mm. from then on as well. Uh, yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, the, the, the vocalist Scooter Ward, he's, yeah, he's, he's so good. So lyrical. They're a, they're a great band. They really are. And yeah, you can see why like, a lot of people, 
probably people underestimate how important music is because music probably has saved some people's lives you know yeah people can get into a real hole and be affected by like existential stuff but music is it's weird isn't it how it, it actually speaks to some people and yeah changes your mind about stuff and well we, we probably wouldn't be the same type of people we are at all today without music no if i didn't listen to music i would literally be a different person yeah like entirely <laughs> My entire life is based on music and movies. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I mean. We would be two completely different people if. So you can see that, like, people that are writing that at the time were probably like, "Fuck, yeah, <laughs> about this band, man. Shit, I'd be completely different." Well, yeah. When I was uh, when I was fifteen, I first started going to the local gigs. There was like a couple of people that were sort of in with everybody that I knew, and I remember being stood by the door. Uh, at the beginning of a gig and, and people were coming in saying hello to everybody that was in the room but not <laughs> us and there was this, like, this couple of people that I knew and they said hello to us and and I thought I want to be like that I want to be able to come in and know 90% of the people in this room and I dedicated mm. my well maybe not dedicated but like I spent yeah a good 10-15 years of my life trying to build that that's the right word build that image of my or not image build that reputation build to become that you know and uh, i did it you know i, I went to like 90 percent of the gigs that happened here over 10 to 15 years i nice. got to know everybody and i was that's awesome man yeah oh it was good i heard everyone thinks he's a dick but, <laughs> <laughs> but they still know him <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good man i like it yeah i like it so music really does change you so yeah there you go that's ours yeah I got you... many other people's to read out, but that's cool, man. I like it. Looking at the my list, I'm like, I would be happy with all of those things for quite some time. Yeah. They would keep me entertained for a while anyway. Definitely. Especially the pizza. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh have you got have you got some other people's to read out then? You got you got Yeah, yeah, I've got I've got quite a few. Got quite a few to read out. Cool. I got some from Reddit and some from Facebook. Oh, you posted on Reddit as well. Awesome. Yeah, and um, I've got to read Vicky's as well. She'll kill me because I made her do it. Cool. I'll do. I'll do Vicky's first because <laughs> uh, not that she listens to the podcast, so I don't know <laughs> why I'm doing it. But yeah, babe, we're on episode twenty now. What episode are you on? Episode two or three? She can hear me, by the way. So I might end up having someone come up and slap me in a second. <laughs> so I'm just warning you. Okay, so. This is uh, Victoria, me, me lady, <laughs> me lady. and uh, hers are, hers are, her drink would be orange juice slash red wine, uh, d- obviously dependent on alcohol gone on. Yeah. Band t-shirt would be the white Nirvana in utero long sleeve. Very nice, very particular. Yeah. Shoes, Doc Martens, and she specifically put black Virginia leather tenai. I don't know what that means. No. <laughs> um, meal would be roast dinner, chicken, but with Yorkshire puddings. Uh, Sounds <laughs> very good. specific. This is very weird. Uh, books would be The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. Harrow, woo. <laughs> and uh, number, t- <laughs> number two, she's got the same as me, um, The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick. Uh, movies would be Labyrinth and Pulp Fiction. Good choices. And her albums would be The Menzingers, Rented World, Meatloaf, Bat at Hell, cool. the first one, and Elvis, 30 number one hits. <laughs> we didn't say you couldn't have compilation albums, no. so that's no, fair no, enough. I went for a live um, one, so yeah. that uh... <laughs> Exactly. I like that, how people thought. I just thought albums, and I thought, oh shit, I could have done a compilation album or, uh, or a live album. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, that was Vicky's. Um, I'll go through a couple of other people's when I can find them. Got to go through leaders. I... Oh yeah, <laughs> enjoyed, enjoyed that. All right, so um, first of all, thanks to everyone on um, Facebook and Reddit that came back to us when I asked you guys this question because I know a few of you were like, "Oh, this is going to be fun." Uh, so we got Dave Everington. His drink would be tea, which obviously seems to be quite popular with everyone. Yeah. His uh, band T-shirt would be his Sonis for Sonis Fear, the word that we can't normally say. Big Four t-shirt. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, pair of shoes, a nice comfortable pair of Vans. Meal would be full English, no mushrooms, extra black pudding. <laughs> I like the, I like how specific that is. That's quite good, yeah. Uh, two books. Yeah, two books would be Clive Barker Cabal. C-A-B-A-L. Am I saying that right? Sounds right. Sounds right. Um, and then he's put uh, Dick 
Masterson, men are better than women. He said it's purely <laughs> satirical, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hate women. Uh, two movies, The Princess Bride and Nowhere to Run. And his three albums would be Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Very good choice. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. And No Effects, Frisbee slash Coaster. Yeah. <laughs> Some good stuff in there, actually. No Some le- good stuff in there. Nowhere to Run. Was that like a Jean-Claude Van Damme or Arnie? Yeah, right? that was Jean-Claude Van Damme, actually, yeah. wasn't it? Oh. Uh, right, should we do... Um, okay, so Adam Leader, the singer of Insert Your Son. Yes. Friend of the podcast. Friends of the podcast. We've spoken about many times. If you haven't heard in such a summer before, go and check them out. Um, his ones were drink would be red grape juice, uh, band t shirt, pan- he just put Pantera, Pantera so no, non specific yeah. Pantera shirt. Yeah. Pair of shoes. He's gone with Air Jordans. Nice. That's like the poshest shoe we've had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see what everyone else says. Uh, meal would be spinach and ricotta tortellini. That is good. Is it? Yeah, okay. it's really good, actually. Okay, good. Really I've never good. had it. No? No. Oh, my God. You should try it, dude. Uh, books, Philosopher's Stone and Skin and Other Stories by Roald Dahl. He's such a big kid. <laughs> um, movies would be Hereditary and Detroit Rock City. Hey. T- two very good films. I, I like it. I comment. I replied to him uh, <laughs> referencing Detroit Rock City. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I said, uh, this, um, this list blows dogs for quarters, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vicky hasn't seen Detroit Rock City yet, so I'm looking oh, forward to her because I've really got I've really got her into Kiss now as well. So yeah. we're like buzzing for download, and now I get to show her a film that was like made by Kiss as well, which is like awesome. you know produced oh, by Kiss. Such a good film. Um, Anybody who hasn't it watched is good. it, go and watch it. Get it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's good. It is really good. It might actually get you into Kiss as well if you're not into Kiss. Yeah. Um And his albums are um, uh, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. Great album. Down, A Bustle in Your Hedgerow, <laughs> and Incubus Morning ah, View. I suppose they didn't go for another Phil Anselmo band. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, just name all the Phil Anselmo fans. Yeah, whatever. Um, well, but anyway, yeah. Thanks for that, dude, if joint. you're listening. Yeah, thank you, Leader. Super, super Joint. joint he, he probably would have put Super Joint Ritual in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Knowing him. He would have. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, uh, yeah. Next one is from Jade Culver. Um and she has put uh, drink would be watermelon red bull Ooh, fancy red bull i like it mm. uh, band t-shirt enter shikari uh shoes would be vans rowan shoes how are they different because oh, i know what vans are obviously vans rowan shoes i don't know how you're going to edit this episode it's fucking everywhere um oh they're just nice vans with basically a, with okay. a headache probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh Vans Rowan shoes. Okay, cool. Meal, cheesy garlic bread and sausage pasta. I had cheesy garlic bread yesterday. It was really good. Yeah, garlic bread is good. Mm. That's, that, that sounds really good, actually. That sounds really good. Um, books would be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, of course. That's two now. That's two. Unless, that's two for that. That's the first time we've had... Philosopher's Stone from Lido. No, no, it was definitely that just, one. Okay. Um, that's a, is that the first time we've had a double? Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, everyone's... You're all different people. You're all individuals. I like it. Um... <laughs> And Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Punchin. Never heard of that. Never Sounds cool, that. though. Sounds cool. Uh, movies uh, is, she's put Due Date and Howl's Moving Castle. Nice. That is a cool film. Um, and albums, Enter Shikari, Nothing is True and Everything is Possible. That is a sick album. Fall Out Boy, Save Rock and Roll. And A Day to Remember, Common Courtesy. Nice. Thank you very much, Jade. Yeah. Greatly cool. appreciated. Good choices. Okay, so uh, next, Julianne Viv Vanavas. Um, I hope I said that right. Drink Lipton's Peached Iced Tea. That's a banging drink. That was quite good. I remember, yeah. I've had that, that is a, a really good drink. I, w- Do you know what? I probably have about two a year, but when I actually choose to have one, I'm like, this is banging. Yeah. It is a proper banging drink, in it? Uh, band t-shirt. She's genuinely don't know. So mm. that's just that's too much of a hard choice. Probably because some of us are like, a band t-shirt nerds and other people just like i don't know a yeah. band t-shirt so that's fair enough uh shoes oh my purple doc martens technically that's three for doc martens yeah now. yeah so that's True. that's the best one um meal a literal shit ton of mac and cheese with garlic bread another one for garlic bread cool. nice uh books the hobbit and the Silmarli- Simar- simarlian. silmarillion silmarillion Simar- simarlian silmarillion silmarillion yeah. what is it this 
The Silmarillion is um, mm. another one of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's books, but apparently it's really, really hard to oh, read. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of like notes. I can't, I can't remember the right, real, real right word for it, but yeah, it's a lot of like footnotes and ran- weird stuff, random well, stuff see, that's not actually. Part I've of never it. read. I've never read Lord of the Rings, but I heard there's just loads of weird shit in the books. Yeah, I've never read it. Like, there's like songs and stuff in there. Really? <laughs> yeah, and like loads of weird shit. Tell, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what I people have told me that there's just tons of weird shit in the Lord of the Rings books. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, but obviously, yeah, movies. See, she's put Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, that counts as one, right? Mm, no, it doesn't. Yeah. So you'd you'd have to pick one of those films. <laughs> You can't put a trilogy in. Yeah. That's not fair. Um, and then uh, Saving Mr. Banks. Go on. Um, I was going to say, um, there, it, it might exist as one film somewhere. I, I heard the other day that the Kill Bill films were originally mm-hmm. intended to be one film. Um, and at some point, mm. Quentin Tarantino released it as one film. Um, not too long ago, but nobody gave, no, nobody cared. <laughs> it's just nobody cared for Dread. some reason. So you can dread. I think you can get it as one film somewhere. Nice, that's cool. But for this purpose, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Julianne, your um doesn't count. Um, uh, and then for her albums, we've got Ramstein Mutter. That's an awesome album. Yeah, Shine Down, Threat to Survival, and Christopher Notes from Planet Earth. Oh, bit of a bit of a curveball in there. I yeah. like it. A bit yeah. of Christopher action. I like that. Wicked. So thank you very much, Julian. That is um, greatly appreciated. And then I just have a couple more to read out from Reddit. See, this is see Reddit's different because it doesn't have people's names. Yeah, and yeah. people have some fucking crazy names in here. You slash something. Um, Username checks out. I love it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first one I've got, I don't know your real names. So obviously we're going to go by your real names, is Gilksoid, <laughs> which... Sounds awesome. <laughs> I don't know what it means or what it's from. Um, they have put, because I don't know, I can't even guess your gender, so I'm just going to call all of you they, because I don't know who, who you who you are <laughs> or, or how you identify. Um, and the other ones I was just predicting, I don't know. Um, drink would be Yamaha... Yama, <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Okay, I have to edit this. This is going to be such a funny episode to edit. Do you know what? I never fuck up as well, and I'm fucking up a lot in this episode. I'm doing a you now. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> must be the cold. <laughs> it must be, yeah. Fucking hell. It's messing with my... My brain's blocked. That's what it is. Yeah. There's like snot going from here. <laughs> it's going back into the brain. It's blocking all my brain waves. Okay, um, so Gilksoid uh, drink would be um, Yamazaki whiskey. I don't know what kind of whiskey that is, but it sounds... Fantastic. Mm. I'm just going to quickly sling it into Google. Yeah. Let's see. Because I like... What, um, are you a whiskey guy, dude? Not really. Do you like a bit no. of whiskey? No. Not even a bit of posh whiskey? No, I don't think so. I've never had... A prob- sipping whiskey? No, probably okay. never had posh enough. whiskey. Oh, this is nice. So it's Japanese whiskey. Yeah. And you can get it... It's cheapest 70 quid a bottle. Jesus Christ. So it's, it's nice stuff. That's going to be probably really good stuff. So that would be something you'd want to take because it's nice. Uh, band t-shirt. They've put Bleed From Within of some kind. Apparently their merch is excellent. Um, shoes. Steel toe-capped workman boots. Nice. So very, probably something similar to your um, raw male boots, most likely. Yeah. Something nice and comfortable, like you said, around the ankles that you could do a lot of walking in. Yeah. Uh, meal. Spaghetti bolognese. Hey, that's another another, another lover of the bolognese. And uh, books, yeah, they, they, they have just put Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and Return of the King. So, oh, I didn't, yeah, didn't like the any, first one. I guess any of those, any of those books. <laughs> so, um, again, what big Lord Lord of the Rings is? It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's still it, like everyone just yeah, it's still massive. Like I know that. I mean, how long ago were the Hobbit films? Even that was quite a while ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, but it pissed me off, like. I, I said from day one that they shouldn't have put it into three three films. Um, it was just a money making scheme, and and of course, it, yeah. I think a lot of people, other a lot of other people, felt the same. So it just sort of flopped a lot more than it should have. I think they were probably, I don't know, like they were probably so worried about releasing one or trying to cram it into one. Maybe they thought putting out over three would 
make it better. But I don't think anyone was really too hot on the Hobbit, were they? I probably all, all the first. I think people say the first one was good, and the other two was shit or yeah, well, something. They had to like make up characters and add random shit in to uh, bulk it out. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen the Hobbit films. I should probably give them a watch because um, I love Martin Freeman. I do. He's brilliant. He's yeah. brilliant in everything. He's fan- yeah. he's fantastic. Really nice, sort of likable guy as well. So. I probably would like it if uh, anything that he was in. I watched he- Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy again the other day, and he's just fantastic in that. Is he in that? Is he? Just playing, just it's playing a, a confused long time bloke. Since I saw that. It's good, man. It's good. Like, I love the original like British series, obviously, but the the movie's really good. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Watch it, dude. It's um, it still still holds up. Um, sorry, we're going way off track here from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're still on um, Giltzoid stuff. Um, they've put movies, uh, Big Hero Six. Mm. Uh, and then they've good put film. Lord of the Rings Return of the King so that, yeah that's pretty good actually so more Lord of the Rings <laughs> yeah. so they're not only going to they're not only going to read the book they're going to watch the <laughs> film as well <laughs> nice and a film that has like three endings as well uh, and albums Avenged Sevenfold Waking the Fallen good album Partway Drive Horizons and Bleed From Within Fracture so thank you cool. very much Gilkzoid, Gilkzoid. Um, whoever you are but thank you very much. Um, and we just got the last two now. So uh, Simple Regret has put drink would be... Oh, my God. There's Okay, so whoever this person is, their, their, um, their little thing looks female, but they might not be. So I don't want to assign any genders here. Yeah. Okay. So they put drink. I'm just going to read it because they've written a lot of description from, from all this stuff. They've gone in some serious details. Okay. So drink brick in mouth grog. So, Solway Spirits Banana Rum, Rockstar Spirits Pineapple Grenade Lilt, enjoy feeling tropical while you have a numb face. So, I'm guessing that this is one drink together. Yeah, so maybe. So, that's Brick in Mouth Grog, Solway Spirits Banana Rum, and Rockstar Spirits Pineapple <laughs> Grenade Lilt. That sounds mental. If I had to guess, yeah, I remember last episode I said uh, we've had... Uh, uh somebody called brick in mouth syndrome commenting on our um oh on our okay Instagram. so, so it's maybe like it's a... the same person and that's their <sighs> cocktail that they've made up like that's their own cocktail oh i get you okay well that probably is some random cocktail but it sounds good it sounds and like they said you feel tropical while having a numb face so it's obviously <laughs> knocking the crap out of you but also tasting really tropical at the same time um for a band t-shirt they've brought um punk rock factory power rangers parody shirt <laughs> which uh already sounds like something that i want to google which i will do afterwards um shoes uh they put i'm on a desert island right give me those greg's flip-flop primarks were selling <laughs> but i couldn't get hold of <laughs> Greg's flip flop sold in Primark. Holy hell! What has this life become? <laughs> it's become something really weird. Um, meals, um, burritos. All you need oh. to survive. Tastes awesome and super filling. Can't go wrong with Mexican food. Cool. The only thing you can go wrong with Mexican food is on the way out. <laughs> it's not so hot. Yeah. Maybe that's just me, but I'm sure other people. Yeah, that's will feel why the I same. didn't go for curry. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, curry and Mexican food I love, but you don't want to be on an island with no toilet paper when they're coming out of there. <laughs> you got to see. Le- a leaf. Wash off in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> wash your bum in the sea. <laughs> it's a theoretical island. You're not actually there, so we don't have to think about those sort of horrible things. Good point. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, books. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Amazing. And then... Hide. Why is there so many Japanese names <laughs> in these things? Hajuki Kiku Hajuki Kikushi, Vampire Hunter. I don't know what that is. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Sounds crazy though. Let me uh, let me just put that in Google quickly. This is interesting. We're like learning a lot. Yeah. Vampire D is a novel by Japanese author. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, it's like a weird vampire hunter thing. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do that again. Because it sounded like an arsehole. Um, and the other book is um, Hajuku... Kim- Kim- <laughs> <clears throat> and the other book is <laughs> Hajuki Kikushi Vampire Hunter D, um, which sounds interesting. 
Um, and I did just Google it and it does look pretty awesome. Uh, movies Into the Spider-Verse. Have you seen that yet, dude? No, that that's a cartoon one, isn't it? That's the animated No. Oh, no, wait. Yes, Into the Spider-Verse is the animated one. Yeah, yeah. with... Um, He's got Frog Thor in it. My son has watched it, and Kelly's watched it with him. I think I was cooking at the time, so I was in and out. I didn't see all of it. Ah, uh, um, okay. But it does look did yeah. look pretty good. It's it was Spider awesome. Ham, My brother showed it to I me think, as well, in it. And I was like, "Yeah, that's pretty sick." Yeah. Um, and the um second movie of theirs is The Crow. Of uh, course, yeah. we we talked about it before, haven't we? It's an amazing film. Kelly, uh, oh, and oh, fine, you, Kelly's never seen it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to get round to that. I'm going to get my hands on the Blu-ray and then show it to Vicky. And then finally, albums. Simple Regret has put Ruben in Nothing We Trust. Very good. Metallica S&M. Very good. And Amen, yeah. We've Come For Your Parents. That's three sick albums right yeah. there. I agree with those a lot. So thank you very much, Simple Regret, whoever you may be. Um, and finally, our last one um, is from... <laughs> because they always have weird names, don't they? I don't know how to say them. So they've put case Zilidio. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture, right, and send it to you, and then you tell me how to say this. Oh, I can say I'll find it really quickly on Reddit. <laughs> no, wait, I'll just send it to you here. That's um, case zealous ideal 3919. Case zealous ideal. Ideal. Case zealous ideal. Okay. Okay, and finally, from K Celis Ideal 3919, their drink would be Pirate's Grog Rum. So it's the second person to say about that Pirate's Grog Rum. Yeah. Um, band t shirt, raised by owls. Jesus probably isn't that bad. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm literally going to get that band t shirt because that already sounds awesome. Can we just Google that quickly? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a. It's like a, a an act on you stand next to someone who wears the Jesus is a cunt t shirt. Ah. So there's says Jesus is a cunt and yours says Jesus probably isn't that bad. Yeah. I have the Jesus is a cunt shirt, so <laughs> you can buy the other one and we can stand next to each other at download. <laughs> of course I've got, dude, I'm a huge Cradle of Phil fan. How yeah. can you be a Cradle of Phil fan and not own the Jesus is a cunt shirt? That's true. You just have to. I didn't know it, <laughs> That's very I true. didn't know it was a Cradle of Phil shirt because people only take a picture of the back where it says Jesus is a cunt. <laughs> Or let's just say on the front it has a nun with huge tits fingering herself. <laughs> and then on the back it says Jesus is a gun. <laughs> it is one of the most classic shirts at the time. Obviously, I, I do not know the thing about Cradle of what people don't get about Cradle of Filth is it they're 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 literally joking about almost everything. Yeah. Like they're having a laugh, but people just don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Like that's an answer to that shirt because people hated it so much. They had a shirt that's got a picture of Danny Filth on the front, and on the back it just says wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it was just like their way of saying, do you know what I mean? We're only messing around. Yeah. Like, calm down. And there's another one that has Jesus on the front, and on the back it says Danny Filth is a cunt. Uh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> so there's like three different versions that you can get that are like amazing. I don't have the other two. Um, I need to get them though, but yeah. So that was the band t-shirt. Shoes. Um, they put my walking boots they survived download 2019 so they'll survive the island so that's a good yeah. point um meal it's got to be lasagna good choice again i like that we're going with all the sort of italian meals of italian. Me, and you, yeah. me and you went for like pizza and spag bowl which is like yeah. typically Leader it is nice stuff uh, though it's tasty isn't it yeah yeah tasty shit uh blah, blah, blah. books uh the winter queen by boris akunin and Bear Grylls Survival Guide. That makes <laughs> a lot of sense if you're on an island. I like. It. I can't believe no one else yeah. has thought of that. Just loads of survival shit. Uh, movies, Full Melt Jacket and Hot Fuzz. Both good films. Um, albums, Linkin Park, Meteora. Bring oh. Me the Horizon, Semp Returnal. Hmm. And I Prevail, Lifelines. Nice. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Um, cheers, guys. It's nice to hear um, other people's stuff apart from ours. But um, I'm glad that some of you guys got back to us with those because uh, lists are fun. And it's nice to know what other people like feel about stuff. So it was good that yeah. some of the people had the same. So some of it's in the same vein. But there was also some random curveballs in there that you'll be like, what? <laughs> Which is yeah. great. So thank you very much yeah, for everyone right. for that. Um, thank you, everybody. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, keep interacting with us on the social medias, man. It's a lot of fun reading out your stuff, isn't it? And we've managed to do it like 
almost every episode for like the last five episodes, we've been reading yeah. out stuff that people have messaged us, which is fucking awesome. So I'm yeah, happy definitely. to keep doing that, innit? It's nice. <laughs> in it, yeah. In it, mate. In it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, well, we should probably probably start to wrap it up there because it's getting a bit late and I'm fucking shattered still. <laughs> yeah, man. And um, yeah, we'll um, well we'll talk about what we're going to do next week. Uh, I like I said, we um, we should probably start a bit of a countdown to download next week. And 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 we were we said we were going to go through the 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 lineup in full. I I thought, well, why don't we go through the lineup every year since 2020 since it was cancelled. Okay. And so, so we'll spend one episode going through the Friday and going through the bands and how they changed and what they are now, and if it's an improvement or if it's uh, or if it's not. Okay, I like the I think sound of that. Interesting. So, it, and well, we we could try and do the whole lineup in one in, in one episode, but I don't think it will happen. It'll probably take about an hour to do each day. So we'll go through the Friday first, all the way down. Um, That's. T- I mean, I know sometimes our episodes go quite long, but that's probably a bit too long. Yeah. So we do just one day at a time. So we, so that might even be our next three episodes going through the download lineup, if you're yeah, happy man. with that. Yeah, man. Um, well, I mean, it will probably change like it always does. But <laughs> yeah. That's the plan so far. They, we never seem to stick to... We do stick to them, but things happen and things change and shit, so... Yeah. yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be um, checking out all of the other bands very soon anyway that I've never heard of. So it kind of makes sense to start talking about the bands as well, because then, like like I said, we, we can talk about the bands, what kind of music they are, how much we're looking forward to them, and, and just start to get a bit more hyped for Downloads. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll probably wrap it up there then, and we'll say a massive thank you all for listening, and um, thank you for sticking around this long uh I, I don't know whether you wanted to or whether it was simon's threats earlier um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah we, we've had we've had a lot of people sharing sharing our stuff and commenting and liking all on all our all, all our social media stuff as well which um which simon just said yeah it's absolutely amazing it's um just want just just want to reach more people you know it's just we know there's so many people out there that would love this and and would have some awesome interaction back with us, you know, so mm. some more awesome stories for campsite fuckery. So uh, just yeah, just sharing our stuff, word of mouth is the best way, you, best thing you can do for us or any other podcast. And uh, yeah, you can, um, like I said earlier, with we, we want to hear from you. We want to get your audio into the download special as well. That will be released download the, the morning of download festival. So. Uh, so you can do that if you want. You can email it to us at uh, deardownload2003 at gmail.com. You can, you can even probably do it through uh, Facebook Messenger now. You, you can probably even record it through Facebook Messenger. Uh, just just uh, send it to Dear Download Podcast and we'll get it. We can stick it on the, on the episode. Um, you can reach us Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're Dear Download Podcast. Again, like I said earlier, we haven't uh, done the the patreon like i said about four episodes ago <laughs> uh is there anything else we do youtube youtube's gone a bit stale again <laughs> my bad but yeah I'll, I'll be hoping to post a lot more stuff out on facebook and instagram as well at least so uh whatever you can do for us would be awesome i think that's it uh anything else simon before we go anything you any else you want uh, to say yeah well um if you guys want to get on my social medias you can get me on um fonzie underscore simon on instagram and i'm simon bond on youtube because uh, i'm doing loads of stuff leading up to download festival as long as the stuff we're doing for this podcast so go check someone at out as well that's it cool well um well that's it for this episode then and we hope like i said we'll, we'll see you next episode with a, a very exciting start to uh countdown to download Count- oh yeah download count download baby yeah i'm gonna try and do something cool weird and wonderful <laughs> with that maybe uh but yeah so um we yeah, we better say goodbye that's says goodbye from simon goodbye and goodbye from me goodbye <laughs>